Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. My name is Mobby, and today I'm going to show you how to upload videos in 60 frames per second. YouTube recently just implemented the ability for users just like you and me to upload videos, gaming videos, real life videos, even animations in 60 frames per second. And I'm here to show you exactly how to do it. Now, I'm going to be using a specific program and editing software. But if you use any different ones besides me, the actual actions, as long as you are doing the same type of things, it should be absolutely no problem. So you can see here the video looks pretty buttery smooth. This is actually the first video I've ever uploaded in 60 FPS, and it's awesome. So what am I using to record? I'm using XSplit. Now, if you have been recording XSplit before, you do not need to do anything differently. Um, the only th I am recording locally, you can see right now, it's uh, the frames encoding and bits are going up. I'm recording it right now, this video right now, you can see it. Um, the only thing you need to change is your frame rate, all the way to 60 FPS. Um, usually, you know, people record in 30 frames per second on here because there's absolutely no reason to go any higher because YouTube just didn't support that. But now you can. Resolution, also the minimum has to be at least 720 resolution. Um, any higher, it's no problem, but the minimum has to be this. this is exactly what I'm doing. Now, like I said, specifically, this is XSplit. If you are using the free version, you cannot go above uh, resolution 480, and your frame rate cannot go above 25 FPS. So remember, you have to have the paid commercial slash professional version of it to do it. So this video right here that you're seeing, this is an unedited version taken straight from the local recording, which I usually do my video. Like local record unedit it and just throw it right up because uh, it works <laughs> so this is the uh, raw video right here all you gotta do is right click it and look at the properties and you can see total frame rate 60 frames per second now if you edit the video or just record it raw like this and it says like 59.5 don't worry it'll still um, you know go all the way up to 60 is absolutely no problem now this is just the source video recorded at 60 FPS. If you do a lot of editing, make sure that every single thing that you do record has to be in 60 FPS. And then you just throw it in your editor like this. You just cut, no problem. You go produce and share. And you have to make sure that when you render and produce it, it does not go down in resolution size. It has to stick to the minimum of 720. Also, if your video um, Campasia doesn't have this specific uh, type of thing, I should probably upgrade to Vegas or something, but anyway. Um, it has a custom thing where you can go and actually check and uh, specifically say what kind of resolution you want. Make sure it's 60. As long as everything you have is 60. And once again, after you you know edit the video and check it out, make sure that you check the properties again and it's 60 frames per second. If it goes any lower than 59.5, then perhaps some things that you are adding into the video, let's say uh, either music or another source, a video like let's say you have a little outro or a thumbnail that you put in the in the beginning or end of the video if that was not recorded in 60 FPS the whole video will drop down it's easy as that you cannot edit a video and make everything go 60 FPS the video itself the source video has to be 60 so if you have any questions whatsoever please let me know I am familiar with other uh, recording programs such as um, you know fraps or dick story or even Sony Vegas as well. So once again, leave a like, it helps so much. If you have not already, hit that subscribe button. I upload a lot of daily videos. Every single video from here on out is gonna be in 60 frames per second. So make sure to, uh, you know, if it looks good, remember any questions, I'll try to reply back as soon as possible. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.